press start to begin. Hello and welcome back to Super Bonus Round and our playthrough of Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm your host, RainWizard767, along with my friend Mugiwara JM. Hello. So we just collected our first debt uh, for Air Strauss. So let me pull up the map to find out where the other two are. Uh, uh, don't tell me I gotta go back to fucking camp. I think so. Son of a bitch. Yeah, wasn't there a Javier mission? Like, I guess it's like locked out now. Well, no, but it says now we're still in the mission. So, okay. So, oh, fuck you. Oh, my God. Yeah, money lending number two. Oh, it's probably locked out because you're going to do this one, too. Yeah, so you got to take it back to camp and donate it. Ugh. Yeah, you're still in the tree, so you can't get do anything else. Damn it. Uh, all right, whatever. At least it's not that far of a distance, so. Not that far of a distance, so. At least it wasn't that far away from the camp. Yeah, before we started recording, Rich and I were, like, talking about, like, how many hours we sunk into games and, like, uh... I thought I thought I had the, the the most hours sunk into Animal Crossing GameCube, which was like 400. But then you floored me with how much you put in the Fallout 4. Yeah. Um, for those that don't, for in brief, for those that don't know, uh, I am a huge Bethesda fanboy. I'll say it. Uh, I am a Bethesda fanboy. Um, At least you wear it on Elder your sleeve. Scrolls. Oh yeah, I'll fucking I wear it on my sleeve. I wear a hoodie. I wear, I have a laptop bag. I have shirts. I have it all. Nice um, rebuttal. Nice. You know, uh, I'll wear it on my sleeve, on my pants, on my jacket, on my bag, on everything. Um, but yeah, obviously playing like Elder Scrolls and of course Fallout. Um, I have seven hundred and fifty hours clocked in Fallout Four on PC. Um, that's my Fire Emblem and, Three Houses numbers twice, and still a little bit left over. Um, <laughs> and of course, I I knew um, for the and and obviously for those that don't know, obviously we're doing it. Well, for those that uh, Jesus Christ, what is with this horse? Just keeps yeeting away from the uh, hitch. So whatever. Beans anyway, a playful one. Uh, anyway. Um, I knew back in July of 2018 when I got my turnkey gaming PC. Um, and then it just says, one night when I was frisky from too much potent whiskey. Uh, I do not like what... Like the waves in the Bay of Biscay, I began to tumble... You're derailed, okay. you're derailed in the store, son. Uh, my face was red like a lot. I, I don't like... I felt... Oh my god, uh, I'm, I don't like where this is going. My what? 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 Uh, 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 are we done? Okay. Oh no! Wait, no! 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 I, uh, I'm a little... I'll not drink, but I'll... Deny it, uh, and I shun the alehouse door. I don't like where this is going. Nope. For that is where they tell us, and meet all jolly good fellows. Now, I, no, 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 no. But I buy the poker and belt. Stop. I'll never get drunk anymore. Please stop. Um, please stop. Please. You 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 done there. You done there, buddy. You done there, bud. Okay. Whew. No. I wait, did there's not more. like where that was going. <laughs> I did not like where that was going. Uh so he so we got drunk and broke his penis. John, why did you have to <laughs> summarize that? <laughs> why? Because I wanted to say it in the Arthur voice, that's why. Uh <sighs> Why? And I never drunk again. Wait, hold on. That was a lie. <laughs> <sighs> What's the upgrades here? Uh, you know, 
not, let's... Let's stop there. <laughs> so, you know, at least purchase an upgrade, because I forgot you do do camp upgrades. That gets you, like, ammo. It gets you provisions. You Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My so... Brother. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. Mr. Downs, the opinion, a little do-gooder. Yeah, so we... Alright, I don't want to drag this on too more. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more I don't want to do it anyway. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. All right, so this should I trigger know. part two. Do we have to do it, though? Yeah, because that's the only way you're going to freaking... Trust me, it, it's best if we just get it out of the way. Um, It's best if we just get it out of the way now so that it, we do not have to come back to it. Because, unfortunately, it's one of those requirements. It, it is. It's it's a requirement. Mm. Otherwise, it's... It, it, uh, Trust me, it's it's gonna be like ripping, ripping a band, ripping off a band aid. So it's and this band aid's a big ass band aid. So it's just and I got hairy arms. Yeah, so, so, it's just, so it's gonna fucking hurt. And obviously, oh, uncle's passed out again. Okay, Talk. fuck He's, you, Kieran. Uncle's passed out on days to end and why? So fuck that. Let's just get it out of the way. Because it's... Oh, first person. Mm, but we're not going to do that. So, all right. Um, there's the other one. So let's just get it the fuck out of the way. You said there was three, right? Yeah, there's three. So we're on part two now. We're on the second deck collection. So just got to get through. That's the only downside about camp is that you got to freaking... You gotta like trot through camp, and then once you get out, then you can then you can gallop. Right. Anyway, yeah. So um, me being the Bethesda fanboy that I am, um, yeah, I uh, clocked 750 hours in Fallout 4, and um, even then, going back, I'm just like, what have I done with my life? Um, but yeah, um, and I so think 700 hours in the Fallout 4. That's what. Yeah, and, uh, uh-oh, wait, hang on. Ooh, what we got here? What we got? What we got here? Oh, oh shit, I forgot. Oh. Got bit. Uh, I'm giving you a health cu cure. I am not sucking out your venom. No. Well, if you're going to turn, I'm going to have to shoot you dead. Jesus had nothing to do with it. They're just cold, hard, hard medicine, man. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Now, I, I got to get out of here. Anyway. Yeah, good thing the snake didn't bite him in his uh, private region. Yeah, you're going to die. Yeah, it's like, oh, gotta suck out the venom. Where'd you get bit? In my man parts. You're gonna die. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you, son. Oh, what the frig? Snack <sighs> bottom the, de the dick is the kiss of death. And a water kiss it was. <sighs> Whatever, there was some type of predator. I don't know what the fuck it was. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, um... So yeah, uh, 750 hours in the Fallout 4. Um, I don't remember how many I got in Skyrim. I'm gonna have to check that again. But uh, I know I got a decent amount in that too. But um, I knew it back in July of 2018, uh, when I got my turnkey game PC, I knew that um, I knew that was going to be a uh, something that was gonna happen where it was just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get Fallout 4. Oh, I'm going to get the Game of the Year edition with all the DLC. Oh, yeah. Um, it also has got a lot of mod support on PC. Yeah. 
So that's why it's very, uh, very dangerous for me to, uh, when I turn on this gaming PC and play Fallout, it's very dangerous. So, yep. um, and normally I try to, um, do that when I have, like, significant time off. Like, I, I remember when I was in quarantine, I played Fallout 4. Uh, when I got sick the second time, it wasn't COVID. It was, uh, just, uh, bacterial infection. Um, I was out for, like, a week just because uh, I played Fallout 4 again. I remember during the, um... Oh, I remember during, uh, when I was recovering from my accident, uh, I was playing Fallout 4. Um, so yeah, I, I think that was where majority of it came from, because I was out for two months, uh, when that happened, and that was I'm in 2019. Get your ass out here. But, uh, yeah. So. I just, re I just thought, I'm just thinking, imagining you, like, as soon as the, you, got, you installed Fallout 4 with mods. I, my immediate thought went to a uh, plankton from SpongeBob. Goodbye, everybody. I'll remember you all in therapy. Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> that was basically, uh, Mr. Thomas Downs. You owe me money. Oh no no I'm. I'm oh oh, I, Mr. Arthur Morgan. Sorry, I couldn't hear you over me chucking corn. Certainly, would you? <laughs> I have a family. <laughs> that was really good. It's like, nope, not Narek, you're getting the punch. You have to be more reasonable. Pay the money. If you want the money, oh, you'll Jesus. You better fucking fess up. <laughs> I'm done waiting. You have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. If you'd been good, this wouldn't be happening. You borrowed money from my You at least have a farm. Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife. Are you a family or something? Or idea a charity? Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more. Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Well, now, now I just feel bad doing this shit. Yeah, but hey, it's it like I like I always say, people, money is not lent out for free. Yeah, At we, some point, one way or another, it's gonna be collected. One way or another, it doesn't matter if it's a loan, if it's you know, if it's a mortgage, if it's a credit card, it does, or even just loaning somebody fifty bucks. You know, it's like, look. It's like that guy in Dr. Strange said, the bill comes due. Oh, yeah. Like, it's, you know, uh, you know, like, that's why, um, you know, if you're getting, you know, and obviously we know that people have, you know, the pandemic really, um, really affected a lot of people, especially when it comes to financial stuff and jobs and stuff. And, yeah. um, Still affecting people now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. But just remember, it you know, even though yes, we've had you know ways to help people when they've got laid off and stuff like that, which I you know it's it's good. But just remember, it's gonna have to be returned somehow. You know, um, it's just really hard for like the people who had jobs. Oh, I know, they, they, I know. They, like their jobs are just gone. Like there's. There's there oh, isn't just, there's just people who like stayed because of the pandemic. It's like some places just fucking went belly up. Oh yeah, and like, that's like, that like, was I know the somebody who had a good job, but then as soon as COVID hit, bam, gone. 
And, you know, a lot of small businesses got affected or went belly up and... Uh, oh, yeah, one of my favorite restaurants went under. He's almost dead. Really? Which one? Uh, I won't say where, but it was a buffet place I liked not too far from me. And uh, they're gone. Interested in my propositions. Hmm. Of course. Yeah, that's... Um, that's so why it's... I've been doing working my ass off to uh, help one of my favorite business. There is one restaurant I really, really like. If they ever went, they ever went out of business, I'd cry. So I, I make sure to get them, order from them as much as I can, because they, they their food's just that good. Oh yeah. Um, so this is a friendly reminder to those watching and listening. Um, if you got a local business or small business that's near you that does really well, um, yeah, they provide a good necessity like food or you know convenience like convenience store stuff or or whatever service or or whatever they provide um definitely help them out because uh you know i know a lot of people are trying to get their footing back after um everything now that things are starting to come back um you know uh definitely support the small businesses because i know that like a lot of small businesses down where I live, you know, obviously now that the uh, summer season's coming and, you know, a lot of people are going to be traveling down here um, for the summer season. Oh, now we know what that's. Uh, that's Cumberland. Uh, for Man, us. it feels. Now it just doesn't say come anymore. Yeah, so. But, um, yeah, so. Before it just said come for Valentine. <laughs> 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 but um stop interrupting but um yeah so definitely uh support your local business uh because remember they're trying to get back to their to their sense of normal and you know like we got like that's what i'm trying to support you know local businesses down here even though like now that the uh campgrounds are opening up and now that people are going to start traveling for the you know the summer beach season um you know trying to get back to it so definitely definitely do that um, you know, if you, if you can, uh, definitely, you know, cause like I said, um, you know, some small businesses, um, what I got here. So, no. so let's see, we got, well, apparently Hosea popped up, Hosea popped up and yeah, so we just, we just helped him out though. Yeah. But I think we have to go to the farm cause I think we're taking a wagon, I think. I think. Um, okay, well, there's a. Oh, there, there we go. So there's. A, so all right, we'll help Karen. We'll help Karen since um, yeah, like you said, we did help Jose. So. You the Driscoll he kidnapped. Yeah. You got some speaking to do of your own. Not that old. Antagonize him. I said. Yeah, I don't feel like I threatening him. You. I don't know. We're doing enough of that lately. Really. That's what I thought. Whoa! Hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, Mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing. Okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part. So how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah, uh, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Oh! Yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause... You oh, shit! <laughs> uh, I made a joke about his balls earlier, and now I feel bad. <laughs> Those are hot too. Woo! We want your balls, son. Okay, okay. Listen, I know where old Driscoll's holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, <laughs> a few of us up there right now. I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <Killed him. laughs> 
Let's both hope you ain't trying Damn. To <laughs> well, then again, can't really geld him because if you did, then we wouldn't found out about O'Driscoll's camp and all that crap, and he'd be dead. So. Yeah, it'd be a waste. Where we Sure, you'd feel good in the moment, but then you'd have wasted your life, and you, not only would you uh, have not gotten any information, you will have uh, unnecessarily killed a man. Yeah, so. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I'll, I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where So we got Bill Williamson and John Marston. Oh, right. foreshadowing. I smell a did foreshadow. We do this? Did we do this when we last played? I think so. Because I remember the gelding scene, but I don't remember anything after. Yeah, we we have a shootout. We have a shootout at um at uh this this camp and then i th and then i think after that we didn't do anything else <laughs> yeah so luckily we're getting this out of the way now then we're getting to the new content or as that's how i see it the new content at least new to me well well either either the new well the problem is i think we did the hosea one i think the kieran one was the last one but Oh uh, no! Well, no, we did. I think we did Javier down by Blackwater. Again, I, I forget, but um, I'll, I'll know because I remember bits and pieces, but not any, anything else. Once I stop saying that, then you'll know we reached the uh, new, uh, the new horizon of territory. All stuff well, I haven't seen. Hopefully, new content for you, but obviously not new content for me. But um, because me, I just remember everything about it. It's also new to everybody who never saw our playthrough because I hope you guys enjoyed the last playthrough because it's gone now. <laughs> I nuked it. Not even a day. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Bill, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the <laughs> job. Keep that in your mind. Young feller, right at the forefront of I swear, I promise, I am taking you to comb as best as I can. You'll see, I'll make good. You'd have to have a lot of balls to lie to us, son. Actually, what am I saying? If you lie to us, you won't have balls. Ball ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? <laughs> I've been watching you all these weeks, and uh, you've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls, but maybe I know more about you than you know about them, and I know all about them. So <laughs> tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is... Sorry for the awkward silence. I'm just well, I was I was listening. Yes, yeah, so. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. 
Okay, now now cut left up here. We we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick. Then no matter how luck we'll do that anyway. Settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse and I'm ready. Why is that? Fine. Wait, what now? Hmm. I was just—I was just supposed to say, I'd leave your horses behind here if I were you. I'm like, why? That—that that sounds awfully suspicious. Okay. Uh, well. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Draw. Make sure. Follow me. Oh no. And of course, right then you take a dump. Shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, watch raffle every moment. And of course, the horse just took a dump. Yeah, again. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Hey, there, there, you see? And then we'll have the horses shit on you. And then you'll die. Cabins in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you? Yeah, I think we did do this. And Cormo Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna oh, the Irish cowboys. Well, the the names are given away. We ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. He's yours. We're gonna send Bill. Okay. Hush. Yeah, take him out while he's defenseless. Hush now. Not when I want to see when I have to go to the bathroom myself. Don't you damn move. Yeah, because if you do one from afar, then you alert the other one. Same time. Come on. Get down this hill or I'll pull you down. Ah. Moving on the camp. I left our guide up there. He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. Hmm. I guess you can grab his hat if you want. Hang on a second. That's my hat, first off. Oh, it's your hat that fell off. Yep. Alright. 
I just saw that gun float in space for a second. Damn Rockstar. <laughs> Trying to do some stealth kills here. Yeah, after the last couple, we could we could use a change of pace. Let's just way that's less of them to. Uh... Okay, now what? We're at the perimeter. Plus, Austin will tell you I'm not the best at uh, stealthing while doing let's plays. And my own personal playthroughs, I'm great at them. But uh, when I'm trying to entertain an audience uh, with another person, uh, not call? as easy. Well, how many of them are there? I can barely see. One, two, three, four. Right, let's see. Let me grab my gun. We need orders. Uh, like one, two, three, four, five. Uh. Um, All right. Let's take. Let's. Let's. Uh. Take the lead on this one. Yeah, take one out and then they disorient them and then we can take them. Sure thing. Your ass too, literally. Hey, he said Combs be in the cabin. I'll check. You look out here. What you got on your call? You got supplies, you drunk dead bastard. You ain't gonna check. Gold pocket watch. You miss some of that Irish gold. Horse stimulant. Ooh. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. Yeah, it's a good point. Yes, it is. It All is. Right, then go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. Give me a break. That's also a good point. But I'm warning you. 
Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's <coughs> get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. Yeah, right you are. All right, so loot time. Black box. What you got in here then? Ginseng elixir. Yeah, I'm glad I definitely. Uh, <laughs> glad I definitely uh, am doing this on my regular TV because that lag would be freaking horrible. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I know this is your first time doing that, but never use Elgato's feed for because actual it's, it's, gameplay. Yeah. It oh, never. I thought it was bang, but it was strawberry. Still good, but not in the good shit. Hmm. Money clip. Strawberries are still good, though. Yes, they are. Fucking love strawberries. My second favorite flavor of stuff. First being cherry. Which is weird cherry. because today I'm drinking G Fuel Sour Chug Rug. So G Fuel, if you're listening. Oh my god. You were slow on that one. Yeah, speaking of which, are you really drinking Chug Rug right now? Yes. Shit, so am I. <laughs> Fuck! I had, uh, I had, uh, peach rings earlier. Because, oh, speaking of which, which was funny. Um, let's, hang on a second, hang on. Um, let me just do this. Let's see here. Oh, damn it. Hang on, let me, let me get my horse. Wait, what the fuck? Take money. Okay. Is there more money? Anyway, um... Now that... What was I getting at? Um... Yeah, I had, uh, peach rings earlier. And, of course, I have chug rug. Um... Yeah, you know, thanks... Thanks to you for... Um... Get... Turning me on to it. Yeah, you said that people told you it tastes like shit. Who, who told me that? You you said you heard from people that tasted like ass. Um, I thought that was another one though. Or, I either, don't know. Either way, either way, you know. like it now. Oh yeah, I mean now that they actually, um, now that they actually, um, now that they, you know now that they actually started distributing down this way. Um, yeah, Wawa has them now, which makes it easier for me. Not the flavors I like. I still have to get those online, but. Well, um, I do know that, um, like, a couple of the Wawa's by me, like, well, the one by me, they had, um, they had, what was it? Um, Probably oh, the same ones I oh, have. Oh, this was, fu oh, this was funny. So, uh, a couple, the other day, I went in, I got him from work, and, um, you know, obviously, and the Wawa that I'm at knows me by heart because I'm always in there all the time. Um, you mean knows you by name, you mean, I think. Yeah, they know me by name. So um, this is how you maintain your guns. You clean the gun. Yep. Uh, like I said, I love the detail that they did in this game where, you know. Um, oh, there's like a meter that shows you how damaged it is. Yeah, and, uh... So, back. And then search the chimney. At least you got something tucked away. Was Six there actually money in there? Yeah. Fuck, $600! Yep. God, to them, that must be a lot. Oh, yeah, gang shares 300, my share is 110. So this is basically just like a heist, basically. Mm -hmm. But um, 
So, uh, I think we will call that an episode. And next time... You never time... finished your G Fuel story. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. How about I finish my G Fuel story on the next episode? Because we've uh, been going... What a tease. What a tease. Because we've been a little... We've been going on a little bit here. So, next time on the Super Bonus Round, I will finish my story. And we will either help out Hosea or Javier next. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. And a good save too because I really have to fucking pee.